The defense in this case started with a long list of witnesses. But you see, it's easy for people who want to deprive gays and lesbians of their rights to make all kinds of statements in campaign literature or on TV where they can't be cross-examined. But when they have to come into court and defend those opinions under oath, well, initial depositions, their expert witnesses started having second thoughts. That included Dr. William Tam, one of the very men who worked to put Proposition 8 on the ballot in the first place. Yes. Let me go down to point four, where you say that countries that legalized same-sex marriage saw alarming moral decline. <laughs> you believe that after the Netherlands legalized same-sex marriage, the Netherlands went on after that to legalize incest and polygamy and... <laughs> I mean, who told you that, sir? It's in the internet. <laughs> in the internet. And you just put it out there to convince voters to vote for Proposition 8. Yeah. <laughs> After his deposition, Dr. Cham chose to avoid the subpoenas compelling him to appear in court under oath. In effect, Dr. Tam went on the lam, <laughs> refusing to testify. And when you say, based on the scholars that have studied this, that's because you're simply repeating the things that these scholars say. You're just a transmitter of the findings of these scholars. Is well, that correct? Now you're, you're putting words in my mouth. No, sir. Yes, sir, I was simply trying to report the view of some scholars that I was basing my arguments on. I'm saying there are scholars, respected scholars, who have made this argument based on ethnographic research, and I've read them, and that's the basis for my assertion. Your that's Honor, could I ask this witness be instructed to listen to the question, answer my question, and not make a statement that is not responsive to the question, even if he believes it's important? I don't need such instruction. That's what, that, my intention is to do exactly that. Mr. Blankenhorn, one of the instructions that the court gives to the jury when an expert witness testifies is to consider the witness's background, training, and all the other evidence in the case. And that other evidence includes the demeanor of the witness. So I would urge you to pay close attention to Mr. Boyce's questions and to answer them directly, succinctly. So bear that in mind. Yes, sir, I will. I'm really just addressing whether I was putting words in your mouth. Uh, if you look at page 300, lines 7 through 12, you said that you were basing your analysis on the work of highly regarded scholars, and then you say... Okay, oh, I got you a moment. <laughs> I used the word, I'm a transmitter of findings of eminent scholars. Gotcha. No, that's okay. not a gotcha. I'm okay. just trying to... <laughs> okay. I said transmitter seven months ago in a deposition. And what you meant there was that you weren't making these conclusions on your own. You were simply repeating what these scholars had to say. Is that correct? If I may say so well, in my own words? Let me uh, well, look at your basing... own words. Let's look at your own words. Page 300. I am simply repeating things that they say. I can assure you these are not my own conclusions. I am, I'm, I'm a transmitter here of findings. <laughs> Of findings of these eminent scholars. Did you give that testimony at your deposition? That's what I said at the deposition. <laughs> now, you believe that gays and lesbians today are raising children, correct? Of course, yes. And in fact, hundreds of thousands of children are being raised by gay and lesbian couples, is that correct? I don't know how many. Did you ever try to find out? I did. And were you able to make an approximation? I was. Yes, sir, I was. <laughs> and what was that approximation? I can't recall. <laughs> Can you? Recall approximately? No, sir. Okay. 
The studies show that all things being equal, two adoptive parents raising a child from birth will do as well as two biological parents raising a child from birth, correct? No, sir, that's incorrect. Well, sir. Well, may, may I say another word on we'll that? We'll have please? an opportunity to redirect. Okay, well, it was a clarifying thing and it actually supports something you just said. <laughs> the studies show that adoptive parents, um, because of the rigorous screening process that they undertake before becoming adoptive parents, actually on some outcomes, outstrip the biological parents in terms of providing protective care for their children. Yes, I was gonna to come to that. I appreciate you for getting there. <laughs> now in binder number one, we have a copy of your book, Future of Marriage. And the last two sentences, after all, part of the reason why the principle is so revolutionary is that it can grow and deepen over time. Groups that had long been considered effectively outside its moral reach, African Americans, women, people of certain colors or languages or religions, can over time, and often as a result of great struggle, enter into its protective sphere. And then you get to two sentences I want to particularly direct your attention to. You say, I believe that today the principle of equal human dignity must apply to gay and lesbian persons. You see that? Yes, yes sir. Yep. And the I there is you, correct? Th that's correct. <laughs> and you say that in that sense, insofar as we are a nation founded on this principle, we would be more, emphasize more, American on the day we permitted same-sex marriage than we were on the day before. And you wrote those words, did you not, sir? I wrote those words. You believe them to be correct? Yes, uh, yes, I now believe them. That's correct. <laughs> Your Honor, I have no more questions. When they, they come into court and they have to support and defend their opinions under oath and cross-examination, those opinions they just melt away. There simply wasn't any evidence. There weren't any empirical studies. It's made up. It's junk science. And it's easy to say that on television, but the witness stand is a lonely place to lie. And when you come into court, you can't do that. And that's what we did. We put fear and prejudice on trial. 